bada boom. <laughs> there it is, Chip. Mario's meat mobile. Best prime cuts in the city. You remember what to do? Yep, Slick. Just like we practiced. Guard the door, Howie. I'll be back. Oh, guard the door. Why do I always have to guard the door? I... It... Hey, looky here. A puppy. Oh, what you doing, little puppy? Hmm? Looking for pets? Howie, what are you doing? I found me a puppy, Mario. And, and he's cute and... Hey, get out of there, you mutt. Wait, little guy. I... Oh. <gasps> My mate. My mate. Get your soda! Ice cold soda! What the? Get out of here, you freeloaders! <laughs> hey, look, hon. Oh, what a cute puppy wuppy. Oh, 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 look at how cute. Boy, this is the life. Stick with me, kid, and the world will be your chew toy. You kidding? I'd never leave you slick. You taught me everything I know. How to get the best grub, how to find the softest beds, which pet store throws out the best chunk, how many chipmunks it takes to defend a nut stash, which fountain to dip in when it gets too hot, which heater vent to cuddle up to when it gets too cold, how to scratch behind your ear without using your back leg, where to dig up the best- Hey, Chip, do me a favor. What's that, Slick? Just stand up real slow like you don't care and stretch out. Why, Slick? What's wrong? Just do it. Okay. Uh, like this? Yep, that's perfect. Now, just yawn real big, crouch back, and... They're getting away! Who are those guys? It's the man, Chip! Run! Get up! <gasps> Got you now! Oh, no, you don't! They couldn't have gotten far. What are we gonna do, Slick? Those guys are scary. Don't worry, kiddo. We'll just lay low for a while. Lay low? But where? Whenever a stray's in trouble, there's always one bunch of dogs that'll take you in no matter what. Who's that? And so, Ginger, as you go to your new life, just remember this. Once a pound puppy, always a pound puppy. I'm so happy, Mr. Lucky, but a little scared. No reason to be scared, kiddo. After all, I'm taking you to meet your person myself. You know, Lucky, one of us can take Ginger to Westville. I don't mind. Besides, I'd kind of like to get out of the pack for a few hours. So until I get back, you're in charge, okay? Lucky. Okay, say goodbye, Ginger. Goodbye, Ginger. I'll be back tonight. Well, there they go. And now you're in charge. You got to tell everybody what they can do and what they can't do and that. Hey, can I have a marshmallow? We don't have any marshmallows, Niblet. Oh, yes, we do. I saw a whole crate of them thrown away in the alley. Can I go with, please? Huh, please, please? Yeah, okay. Just be careful. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Marshmallows! Marshmallows, where are you? Looking for these? Hey, you found them! Oh, they're even more white puffy than I remember. Thanks! I'm glad I could be of service. I'm Slick, by the way, and this is my partner, Chip. Hi, big hairy dog. Hi, cute little puppy. And who might we have the pleasure of meeting? Oh, I don't know who. Oh, you beat me. I'm Niblet. Niblet, huh? A smart name for a smart fella. Smart? Gee, nobody's ever called me that before. That's because you never met a dog like me before. Anybody 
sexy niblet. Yeah, where is that big goofball anyway? Pardonnez-moi, but I'd rather not be called that big goofball anymore. From now on, I want to be known as that big smart goofball. Right, Slack? A far better moniker. Money what? Moniker, my fine chihuahua friend. A fancy word for name, something I say to impress dogs easily snowed by high-class lingo. Eh, well, don't be blowing no kibbling chunks at me, pally. I don't like all that hoity-toity talk. And for good reason. <laughs> I only talk this way to hide the real me, the dog of the streets. You know, the regular mutt from Hoboken. Hoboken? You gotta be kidding me. I'm from Hoboken. Really? I never would have known. You, you sound so sophisticated, so urbane. Yeah, I get that a lot. Well, I've seen a lot of underground cabins in my day, but never one as modern and sophisticated as this. Can I help you dogs with something? Oh, no, no, no. We're just passing by. Big fans of the organization. And I invited Chip and Slick to stay overnight. Can they cookie? Gee, I don't know, Niblet. It's kind of against regulations. Yes. No stray can stay overnight unless he or she is looking for his perfect... Wait! That profile! That face! You're a model, aren't you? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I was once adoptable of the week on the Public Access Channel. Of course! I remember you. You were magnificent. Breathtaking. Oh, breathtaking. <laughs> I see why they call you slick. And I see why they call you cookie. Strong, beautiful, and sweet as Cut the soft soap, dog. I've seen your type before, and hey! You sure have pretty eyes. Uh, I, uh, oh. Well, uh, it's been great meeting you all. But I understand the rules, and we'd better be moving on, so... But, Slick, can't we just stay for supper? We haven't eaten in days. Now, Chip, the pound puppies are busy getting strays adopted and all. They don't have extra food lying around for the likes of us. Oh, we've got plenty of kibble, don't we, guys? Yeah, we got yeah, absolutely. For company. I don't want to impose. No imposition. In fact, we insist. Insist? Uh, well, then, when's supper? Psst, squirt. Not that. That's odd. And then Bongo looks up at me with his big Australian shepherd eyes and says, That wasn't no snake, mate. That was me tail. <laughs> Hello, anybody home? Oh, Lucky, I completely forgot and there wasn't anybody on watch. Don't and... worry about it. What's going on down here anyway? Well, you see... <laughs> Lucky, oh, you gotta be my new friend. He's the neatest, funniest, coolest guy since you. Oh, yeah, well, I'd like to meet a guy as neat, funny, and cool as... Slick? Lucky? Long time no sniff. You two know each other? Know each other? That dog is my father. <gasps> Lucky, my son. Slick, my male parent. What are you doing here, kiddo? Me? This is my team, my headquarters. You mean you're the leader they've been telling me about? Well, how marvelous. Geez, Lucky, why didn't you tell us you had such a cool dad before? I don't know. Slipped my mind, I guess. <clears throat> oh, and uh, this is my little pal, Chip. Say hello to Lucky, Chip. Hi, Lucky. Slick told me all about you. Funny he never mentioned you to me, but then we haven't had a lot of father-son time lately. How long's it been, Lucky? Two, three years? Five, Slick. Five years, six months, and two, no, three weeks. But who's counting? How's your mother? She's fine. Still has her family over on Maple Street. The Hendersons? The Harrimans. Slick, remember them? They were your people, too, until you ran away for good. Oh, right, right. Harrimans. Harrimans. Never could remember that name. Isn't this great? And guess what, Lucky? Your dad's gonna stay here. What? No. No, no, that's that's not a good idea. I mean, you guys know the rules. Come on, Lucky, it's just one night. Please, come, come on, on please. 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 Okay, look, let me call headquarters. If it's okay with Dolly, it's okay with me. Mr. Nut Nut, fire up the telecom. No, I can do it myself. But Nut Nut knows the machine. I said I got it. Calling headquarters. Come in, headquarters. Hello, Shelter 17. What can we do you for? I need to talk to General Dolly. One moment. Hi, y'all. Hey, Dolly, it's me, Lucky. Well, if it isn't my favorite team leader, how's it going, sugar? Actually, Dolly, I got a problem. You see, a friend of mine, a stray, wants to board here for a few days, and I'm not sure if... Now, Lucky, hon, you know the rules. We can't be a hotel for every stray who comes along. Our job is to find pups' homes, not to keep them running on the... Uh, <clears throat> street. I don't get it, Lucky. Don't you want Slick to stay? Honestly, Cookie? No. But he's your father. Slick's been a lot of things, Cookie, but he was never much of a father. He was barely ever home when I was a pup. Always getting out of the yard, always running away. Sometimes Mr. Harriman would bring him back, sometimes he'd come back on his own, and then one day, he didn't come back at all. 
I never got to do father-son stuff with him, never played tug-of-war, never chased the ball. Didn't even teach me how to bury my first bone. I had to figure everything out on my own. And now, he shows up with this puppy, this chip? I gotta admit, Cookie, I'm a little jealous. Want me to tell him to leave? No, I'll do it. I mean, that's what being in charge is all about, right? Lucky, lucky! Did you get through to headquarters, did you? Huh? No, Nibs, I didn't. In fact, I didn't even try. The thing is... Before you say anything, Lucky... No, really, Slim. Just listen, okay? I know you're not supposed to let us stay here unless we're looking for a home. That's right. And you know I'm not the kind of dog who likes to be leashed down. I have to be free. That I do. So I've decided the only honorable thing for me to do is... Let you find Chip here at home. Well, I appreciate... What? 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 But Slick! Wait, 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 wait. What are you up to, Slick? Well, let's just say I want to stay for a while, and I don't believe you'll find a perfect person for Chip anyway. Is that a challenge? Not to me, because I don't believe any pup in the world would pick being cooped up in some kid's bedroom over running free on the streets with me. Still, if you want to think of it as a challenge, it's okay by me. Let's do it, Lucky. Yeah, come on, let's prove him wrong. What do you say, son? I say... You're on. Yeah! In your snout! In your snout! But Slick, I don't want to get adopted. Don't worry, kid. They don't have a chance. Try cross-referencing all the area codes in the city with the names of anyone who's been surfing internet dog sites in the last two weeks. Any luck? Luck has nothing to do with it. This is a science, not an art. Well, can science pick up the pace? The faster we find Chip a home, the faster you-know-who hits the street. You-know-who-who. Who. Morning, son. Oh, uh, hi, Slick. Say, I was thinking of getting a little exercise. Maybe chase the ball or a little tug-of-war? Yeah, no thanks. I haven't played tug-of-war since I was a kid. Besides, we're kind of busy trying to prove you wrong and all. Mm, good luck with that. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. What's that all about? He's up to something. I'm sure of it. Yo, look, we got company. Coming. Hey, Cookie, can I go up and look for marshmallows? Didn't you get marshmallows yesterday? Yeah, but there's more up there. I can taste them calling me. Five dog catcher trucks? Yeah, they're traveling in packs now. Turn on the ears. Well, well, Ketchum, what are you and your little buddies doing, starting a dog catcher parade? This wasn't Ketchum's idea, Mr. McLeish. It was mine. And you are? Netter. Robert Netter. Street man for Shelter 52. Netter, Netter. I know that name. Wait! You're Bobby Netter, your father's state dog catcher, isn't he? Yes, sir. And I plan to live up to his legacy, which is why I've organized the best catchers in the city into a special unit, the CCRT, Canine Capture and Removal Team. You mean you guys are all working together? That's right. We're joining Nets to capture the worst dog trouble in each other's district, starting with these two. Ever seen these mutts? It's Slick and Chip. Gee, they look kind of cute. We could find them homes in no time. Not these two. They're lifers, roamers. They'll just end up back on the street even if you do get them adopted. Which is why, with the approval of my dad, I mean, state dog catcher netter, we built the CCRC, the Canine Capture and Removal Center. It looks like a doggy prison. It's time we all face facts, gentlemen. Some dogs just aren't meant to be with people. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck on your hunt, Junior Netter. If we see those bad dogs, we'll let you know. If we don't, well, we won't. That's all we can ask. Yeah, well, now we know why Slick's hiding. I should have figured it was something like this. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. Only this time, somebody's gonna call him on it, and that somebody is gonna be me. You know, you guys are the ones who make this place tick. Maybe you should ask for more nuts. <laughs> Slick, I got a bone to pick with you. Pick it, bury it, whatever you want. Let's go have some fun. Fun, huh? Well, we just found out why you're hiding, and it's got nothing to do with fun. They showed up here, huh? I was wondering how long it would take them. Why didn't you tell me about this netter guy? Look, son. Don't you son me. You don't want to be my dad. The only reason you came here was to hide out. Lucky, please. <sighs> Look, you're right, okay? At first, I was just looking for a place to hide, but then it turned out you were here, and I thought, gee, maybe if we spent a little time together, you and me, father and son, maybe I could be the dad I never had a chance to be, and you could have the dad you always wanted. Yeah, and what about Chip? Chip? Yeah, the stray you treat more like a son than you ever did me. Oh, lucky you don't understand. Chip here is... Hey, where is Chip, anyway? Last time I saw him, he was hanging out with Niblet. With Niblet? The marshmallows! Marshmallows! Oh, marshmallows! Do they move around when you're looking for them? Sure do! Sometimes I find them over here, and sometimes I find them over there. 
You think they came this way? Because if they did, they'd pretty much have to run. And the last time I saw them, they didn't have feet. <laughs> Maybe they rolled like rocks. Or slithered like snakes. Or gotcha. Chip? Now all I gotta do is find your big pal, and the first mission of the CCRT will be complete. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Niblet? Niblet, where's Chip? There! No! This is all my fault! No, no, it's not Nibs. It's his. You should have been watching him, Slick. He's just a pup. That's not just any pup, Lucky. That one is your brother. Chip's my brother? But how? How do you think? I met his mom, fell in love, had some puppies. And he ended up with you? He was the runt. Her people couldn't find a home. Well, at least he's gotten to know his father. Not really. Fact is, I've never told him I'm his father. You what? Look, I'm trying not to do to him what I did to you, okay? Hey, there's a truck! We'll never catch him. Oh, yes, I will. this side, and they're on that side. What are we gonna do? Hey, he's the dad. And you're the brother. <sighs> okay, but I'm doing this for Chip and not for you, Slick. Niblet, head back to the pound and tell Strudel to find out where Netter's joint is. Right! Squirt, get the pigeons to find every dog catcher truck in the city. Got it, boss. Cookie, get the breaking kit, then find Leroy and use him to follow our scent to wherever we end up. I'm on it! I gotta hand it to you, kiddo. You really know how to lead a team. Probably got that from me. The only thing I got from you was my snout. I got an idea. Where are you going? Across the river. You coming? Recon, we got a problem. Strudel, Strudel! Lucky says it's an emergency! I wish this thing would go faster. You should have thought of that before you hijacked it. Why are you always so mad at me? Well, let's see. You show up in my pound after five years, turn everything I know upside down, make all my friends like you better than me, and to top it all off, tell me I have a little brother, who you treat way better than you ever treated me, by the way. You know, Lucky, someday you're going to have to stop seeing me like you did when you were a puppy. What is that supposed to mean? Well, when you're a puppy, you can't really know what's going on with your parents. You think things are one way when they're actually the other, and when something bad happens, like your parents separate, you think it's your fault. I never said it was my fault. True, but you're still only seeing one side of things. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Look, I never belonged to the Harrimans, okay? I belong to the Morrisons. The Morrisons? That's right. Your mother belonged to the Harrimans. My family, the Morrisons, lived next door. That's how we met, through the fence. But then, how did... Oh, like everything. We fell in love, had puppies, everything was wonderful. Until one day, the Morrisons moved away. Moved? Where did they go? Other side of town. Miles from you pups, miles from your mother. I didn't want to be with the Morrisons anymore, so I started running away every chance I got. You mean... That's right, kiddo. I wasn't running from you all those years. I was running to you. Oh, we made it. S Slick, wait! Oh, if I could read, I could be more certain. But it seems to me... <coughs> well, I'll be a monkey's Rottweiler. Wait, Slick, you, you can't leave things like this. I'm not leaving anything. I'm just trying to find Chip. Yeah, but all that time you were running away to be with us? Why didn't Mom say anything? I don't know, you have to ask her. I wanted her to come with me, but she refused. Said a dog's place was with her people. A pup for every person, and a person for every pup. Sound familiar? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's when I realized I didn't believe the whole dog-human thing anymore. Dogs should just run free. No leashes, no yards, no nothing. But that goes against everything I believe in. That's what your mother said, too. What are they saying? They think they found them. Come on! <laughs> Okay, there's a truck, but how do we know it's Netters? We don't, but on the other hand... Lucky! Lucky! We figured it out! Yeah, so did... Hey! That ain't no way to case a house. He thinks he knows everything. Well, in this case, he's right. What do you mean? Well, I'll be a monkey's Rottweiler. Uh, hello, Dad? It's me, Bobby. Listen, something really weird has come up. You know the whole CCRC thing? Well, I think I was wrong. Right here, right here. Okay, kids, step aside. Run 
down in and wash your hands. Well, what about Puppy? He's not going anywhere. Now hurry up. Slick! You came for me. You really came for me. Of course I did. I said I would, didn't I? You sure did. But did you see him, Slick? Yeah, I saw him, Chip. They're pretty amazing, don't you think? Yeah, they sure are. So, you won't be mad if I decide to stay? No. no I wouldn't have it any other way. Pup needs its person and all that. Maybe someday, Slick, you'll you'll come back and see me, right? Sure, kid. Whenever you need me, you just tell the squirrels, they'll tell Lucky, and I'll be there. Okay, they're clean, Mom. Happy! Oh! You okay, Slick? Yeah, sure. I'm used to it. It's the way of the world. Just not mine. It's any consolation, the FKD picked Netter's kids as Chip's perfect people. Well, it's a win-win for you, then. Where are you going now? No, oh, I don't know. Other side of town, I guess. Can I ask you something, Slick? Sure, Lucky. Do you ever think about me? Every day, kiddo. Every day. Hey, Dad? Want to play a little tug-of-war? That's the best offer I've had for five years, six months, and three weeks. <laughs>